<laughs> you did not expect me to do that, I did didn't you? expect you to do that. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving all of the bad answers. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am with my wonderful husband and we are going to play Agree to Disagree. We've got our Mr. and Mrs. Cups. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready, let's do okay. it. New Zealand is a better place to raise kids than Canada. Three, two, one. <laughs> you did not expect me to do that, I didn't did you? expect you to do that. Okay. Either. I wanna... was about to do that one. Like, really? Oh, yeah. Do you want to explain your reasoning first? Uh, I think that New Zealand's like safer, you know, it's mm. more of a tight knit community. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you can hear Franklin whining, but he's in his crate. So if you hear him whining, please just ignore him. New Zealand tends to have like, you know, more tight knit communities and whatnot. And I really like that. Mm. Um, but I think Canada has more opportunity. Yeah. Okay, so for us as a couple, I think that Canada is the best place to raise our kids because we love it here and I think, you know, happy parents, happy kids. But I was thinking about the schools and mm -hmm. here in Canada, it's like really normal for schools to have like a designated smoking area, which Canadians think is like completely normal. but. I feel like all over the world that's so not a normal thing for there to be a designated smoking area at a school. If I lived in New Zealand, I would feel like public school was still an option. But here I do not feel like public schooling is an option. I feel like we have to homeschool. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Josh makes better eggs benedict than a restaurant. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think that you make better eggs benedict because you put your heart and soul into it. <laughs> you don't mass produce it. You like very specifically give attention to every plate. Yeah, I do. I do. You're known for your eggs benedict. I'm known for my eggs benedict. That's <laughs> true. Okay, when I first read this question, because by the way, I asked on my Instagram for questions. So some of these questions are from there. When I first read this one, I was a little bit confused as to what it meant, but I wrapped my head around it. Alicia is more likely than Josh to ask for forgiveness instead of permission. So basically, I'm more likely to like do something I know you might not agree with and then say sorry later. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ask for permission for everything. For everything. And everything. It, it's not because he's controlling. He could not care less yeah. about my what decisions I'm making in day to day life. But I just I want every decision to be a team effort. Yeah. And I think he's a lot more independent than me, generally speaking. So he's probably more likely to be like, I think this is a good idea. If she doesn't agree, I'll just say sorry. <laughs> Literally. I've been mean, yeah. working on it, making yeah. my own decisions. Franklin likes Alicia more. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Why did you only do agree? Because I think he likes you more, but I don't think he, he like, he gets really excited when I'm around. Like when you came home last night from work? Yeah. He was going crazy. Yeah, you wouldn't even calm down at all. Yeah, I know. But you spend a lot more time with him than I do. Yeah, and I'm like, Josh is the strict parent and I'm the cool parent. Franklin's our dog, by the way. If this is your first time watching my channel, we don't have a kid. Franklin is our kid. <laughs> this is a very serious okay. question. I have considered divorce. Oh. <laughs> okay, you ready? Oh yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> so I have, I put agree because I've never thought about divorce, like, because that's off the table. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning of our marriage, do you remember when I like thought about like kind of separating? Because I was like, maybe I should just go back to New Zealand yeah. for a little while and like breathe. And so that's not divorce at all, but it's like separating. Because <laughs> when they say the first year of marriage is the hottest, the first year of marriage is the hottest. But I didn't actually go to New Zealand and have some time off from my marriage. We worked through things, sorted it out, and now happier than ever. And also, <laughs> happier I, than ever. And also, <laughs> and she's also, making me do this. And also, <laughs> this is her hand. 
<laughs> also, I would never divorce you. Ever. Well, yeah, no, I would. <laughs> <laughs> but you've never even thought about separating? Um, like, no, like... What about, like, times when we've been in a fight? Have you ever thought about, like, oh, I'm just gonna, like, sleep at a different house for a while? Like, no, it's never really been an option really? for me, no. Well, I feel bad about my answer. Good. <laughs> I thought that you were gonna put disagree or agree. I didn't think you'd put strong. No, I've never, it's never been an option. Like... Divorce I've, is not an option for me. Yeah, I've, I've thought of, like, oh, man, maybe it would be, like, nicer if we hadn't, like, even got married. Yeah. But, like, I've never been, like, oh. I actually want to. Yeah. This is a sad question. Yeah. Screw you, whoever, whoever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're okay. ruining your day. Okay. No, no, no. But do I have it actually ruined your day? No. No. You understand what I mean, right? No, you didn't ruin my day. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah you no, understand no. what I mean. It's okay, all good. Everything's good. All right. It's okay if I post this on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Josh plays too many video games. I did not see that coming. I gotta be honest. Really? Yeah. I would disagree because I feel like you've been you've really toned it down. I have. And you, I don't think it doesn't bother me how the amount you're playing right now. I think like both of us have gone from one extreme to more in the middle, whereas like like in every way. Yeah, every like I was playing a lot more video games earlier on, and you were like wanting all of my attention earlier on. <laughs> yeah. Whereas now, like I'm not playing nearly as much video games, and you're not wanting as much of my immediate, mm. constant, 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 constant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I get it. Fullness of being attention anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I still think that I could play less video games and be more productive with my time, so that's why I said agree. What would you want to do instead? Of playing video games? Yeah, like all the, like all the time you spend playing video games, what would you like to replace that time with? I don't know, I just... I, I mean, I walk the dog a little more, mm -hmm. do some more exercise. I've been really enjoying playing frisbee golf. Sorry, disc golf for any of you weirdos out there that get mad when someone says frisbee golf. It's not that serious, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it happens all the time. They're like, oh yeah, like let's play some frisbee golf. Like, it's disc golf, man. Really? Yeah, yeah, get it right. Is it a frisbee? Oh, it is a frisbee. Okay. Are the rules similar to golf? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is the last question. Right. Now I feel like we need more questions because yeah. this has been short. Yeah. How about after this question, you come up with one and I come up with one off the top of our heads, okay? I have regrets about our wedding night. I feel like I'm giving all of the bad answers, like, but it's not you. Oh, okay. I feel so me. much better. <laughs> no, I have one, one little regret, mm. which is that I feel like I, okay, guys, I waited a long time to get married and do the married person thing. So I feel like on our wedding night, I was so like, how do I say this? Excited. I was excited and <laughs> I think I was just kind of like rushing the journey of it mm. um, to, so that I finally didn't have to live with that anticipation anymore. I kind of wish that I just slowed down a bit and we just sat and talked and like let everything sink in and let things like unfold naturally without me trying to... You're like, let's go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was nervous though. I know, I was nervous too. I was too. super nervous. I think my way of dealing with the nervousness was like, was okay, like let's just do it so we don't have to, so I don't have to feel nervous so I can anymore. So just get this over with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great. It was great. I just wish that I had not been so rushing. You didn't say strongly disagree, you just put a disagree. Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel a bit the same way, but I'm also like, meh, it was still special regardless of. Yeah. Things can always go better, like, mm -hmm. you know, you can always critique, you can cr critique any moment of your life and say yeah. this could have gone better or this could have happened a little bit differently, but I'm just, uh, I'm happy with the way things went. Yeah. You were great. I was just a little too rushed. <laughs> Do you have a question? And then I'll say one. Josh is too nerdy. Go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I like how intelligent you are. And I think there's a difference between nerdy and intelligent. And like, with, and cause, okay, Josh watches a lot of videos about things that I feel like the average person would probably find quite 
boring. <laughs> like you watched a 20 minute video on the difference between a boat and a ship. That's not something that I would watch. That's something he found really interesting. Also for context, I work on the water and I work on boats and ships. So yeah, it's a little bit more applicable. Yeah, I still would not watch a 20 minute video on that. To me, that's a waste of 20 minutes of my life that I could be like, watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> I usually watch like history or science yeah. or... Nerdy, nerdy, intelligent people things. And then also he's really into audiobooks, like science fiction and fantasy. And so he can like get a little bit nerdy about like the fantasy worlds of his audiobooks. And he'll like call me while he's at work and he'll be like, do you mind if I tell you about my audiobook? <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, sure. And then he's like, all right, so there's the superpower. <laughs> I just think that it's charming, and I like that you're multifaceted. Aww. You're you're a cool, like active, sociable guy, but you also have that intelligent, little bit of nerdy side. <laughs> it just makes you a whole wonderful person. Oh, thank you, appreciate it. Why did you put disagree, not strongly disagree? Uh, because sometimes I'm like, wow, I'm a loser. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're definitely not. Alicia is more romantic than. Okay. Okay. Three, two, <laughs> We both know where this is gonna go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. I put agree, because you've done some pretty romantic stuff that I would never have thought about doing. Okay, I think when I'm, when I choose to do something romantic, it's gonna be like an 11. Yeah. But like, the frequency of me doing something romantic is like, probably like, <laughs> down in between down here. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's... I'm more day-to-day -day life little yeah. romantic things, but when he goes for it, he goes for it. Like, okay, on our two-year wedding anniversary, we went out for dinner and then we went to the movies and we're like sitting in the movie theater and the ads are coming um, on and stuff. And then all of a sudden, our wedding photos and our engagement photos are on the movie theater screen in front of the whole movie theater and there's like a message saying like happy anniversary Alicia I love you <laughs> and everyone was like turning around and looking at us and yeah. stuff and I just felt so special and so he had like organized for that to come onto the movie screen on our anniversary ah! <laughs> that was definitely the most romantic thing that anyone's ever done for me. So, cheers to that. Cheers. Thank you guys for watching this video, and if you want to be involved in any future videos that I do, I always ask questions on my Instagram, so go follow me over there. I'll have the link in the description, and I can't wait to see you next week Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Just kidding, don't do that.